There are six things you should always look for when choosing an air purifier. Number one, it should use technology that's recommended by the CDC and the EPA, especially if you're a school or a business using government funding to purchase these air purifiers. Since the pandemic started, there have been numerous air cleaning companies that have popped up around the globe. Many of these companies are offering pretty inexpensive units, but they use electronic, ionizing, UVGI, PCO, or PECO technology. And these are known to produce ozone, which is extremely harmful to human health. Ozone can damage the lungs. It can worsen chronic respiratory diseases, such as asthma and COPD. And it can decrease a person's ability to fight respiratory infections. Not a good thing nowadays. So what the CDC and the EPA recommend is a combination of both HEPA and carbon. And not HEPA type or HEPA like filters, but true medical grade HEPA with activated carbon, like what's used in the Austin air purifiers. Some Austin units also use potassium iodide impregnated carbon, as well as zeolite to capture the broadest range of contaminants. Number two, filters should last longer than a couple months. Some of these air cleaners seem like they're relatively inexpensive, but they require that you replace the filters every three to six months. So that can get really expensive, especially if you're deploying numerous purifiers throughout a school, or an office building. Then you have to take into consideration whether or not you have enough employees on hand to switch those out and how much you're paying those employees. It all adds up. But the Austin air purifiers are designed to last up to five years. Five years, that's huge. That's because we use more filter material than anybody else in the industry. The 60 square feet of true medical grade HEPA and up to 15 pounds of activated carbon no one else in the industry even comes close to using that much. Number three, your purifier should not off-gas. What's off-gassing? Off-gassing is when a product releases volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, into the air. It's basically that new car smell or that new furniture smell. That's an example of off-gassing. Purifiers that are painted or made of plastic, they'll off-gas too. So you end up with a situation where someone purchases an air purifier to clean the air, but their purifier is actually releasing pollutants into the air while it tries to clean it. Austin air purifiers are made of solid steel, not plastic, and they're powder coated, not painted, so they don't off-gas. Number four, the air cleaning company should be able to back up any claims. It's unfortunate, but the saying is absolutely true. You can't trust everything you read on the internet. Like I said, there's numerous air cleaning companies that are popping up all over the world, and naturally they're all saying that they're the best. So how do you know who you can trust? Easy. The company that can back up their claims with real data. Austin Air Systems has outperformed more than 100 other air cleaners in government tests, and we're the only air cleaner company that's partnered with research organizations to do clinical trials on our products. We've worked with Johns Hopkins University, the American Academy of Pediatrics, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, University of Washington, and others. That means it works, and we can prove it. Number five, it should be engineered to create a circular airflow. A lot of air cleaners work the same way. They're designed to pull air in and push the air out one vent, usually on the top. The problem with this design is that you're only really cleaning the air right around the purifier. It creates a sort of mushroom cloud of clean air but it doesn't clean the air throughout the whole room. The Austin air purifiers have a unique design. It pulls air in from all four sides through a 360 degree intake system. Then the unit pushes the air out of one exit vent on the side. What this does is create a circular airflow so that the air is pushed around the room and the entire room is cleaned. Number six. The air purifier shouldn't need so many bells and whistles. A lot of advanced features are good on cell phones, even cars, but they're not necessary on air purifiers. I mean, you see these ones with blinking lights, timers, sensors. First, that's just one extra thing that can break on a cheaply made plastic machine. Second, you shouldn't need a timer to turn your purifier on and off. It should be on all the time. If it can't be on all the time, then maybe it's not a good air purifier. Third, if the purifier has a sensor to tell you when it's time to change the filter, then it's probably going to need replaced way too often. I'm guessing they probably didn't make a sensor that was only going to go off once every five years. That's why I like the Austin Air purifiers. There's one simple three-speed switch. You literally turn it on and it keeps running and cleaning the air for years to come. That's the impact of Austin.